Hi, Naomi Grant here and welcome to my time-lapse video of how I created my latest painting, Whispering Paper Barks. I'm going to take you through a process of how I use pouring, collage and uh, painting to demonstrate how I've created this painting. So I hope you enjoy this uh, brief demonstration. So here we go with what's going to happen. First up I've decided to do a pour to create the whole watery swampy feeling of the background that the paper barks are sitting in. So you can see I'm pouring lots of greens and some blues for the reflections of the water. Uh, very organic, the paint's flowing quite freely. Um, and then I decided to put lots of colour and then I propped it up on its edge so that it runs down, you can see it's running. And I've used a brush here just to manipulate the paint a little bit. Don't always do that, but in this case I did. Um, and so next we've got to the painting stage where I'm using paint to create the uh, green watery feel and get the shadows and play in the um, blues and the reflections down the bottom of the swamp area. No trees at this stage because they're going to be collaged in a bit later. So I'm building in some reflections with the blue and the lilac. Um, at the moment it really doesn't look much but this is all just background work at this stage to build up those reflections and colours in the water, creating some shadows there with the um, tree going in, but rubbed it out, trying again. So here you can see now I'm actually building the paper, um, the trees with the paper. I've already done the big one and I'm now building up the smaller tree in the shadows. You can see I'm starting to put all those colours in the bark with the paper and build the shapes. And you can see how the background now is fading um, more into the background as the trees are starting to take dominance in the picture, which is what we want and you can see some of the shadows and the colours and reflections happening in the water. So there's a lot of paper going into the trees to build them up and there's a still shot showing you how they look just with the paper on them. Now I'm coming back to and I'm going to start to build the trees up with some paint. I've already put a little bit of paint on but here I am applying a whole lot more paint to build up the subtleties of the paper bark, the look, the tones, the shadows, the shapes. Um, takes quite a lot of work um, and it's possible I could have done all this in paper but I'm using a combination here of the paint and the paper to create a little bit more realism and now I'm working on the smaller tree that's giving a reflection into the water um, using the tones to create more bark patterns and it's starting to take um, quite nice shape so it's a process of just keep on building up the patterns and the tones and the colours till you feel that you've got the effect that you want, the lights and the shades. And now I'm getting down to the bottom area where we've got all these beautiful reflections in the water, working on the swampy area that's coming across and the shadows that are sitting underneath, the lily pads and the um, scum that's sitting on the top areas. Now giving you that illusion that you're looking down through the reflections of the water. You can see more. And my final touch is I'm using my Goethe pens to create all this fine twig, leaf, sort of line bark sort of effect um, on the painting that gives it that nice little sparkle and extra highlights. So I really enjoyed creating this piece and I'm quite very pleased with the result that's um, happened. And here we are with the finished painting, uh, Whispering Paper Barks. So again, thank you for taking the time to spend a few minutes watching it. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye for now.